Google's DeepMind has been working on some insane AI tech, but its cutting-edge AI agent system has just transformed machine learning like no other. By using the concept of cultural transmission, engineers have made it possible for AI agents to master real-time, human-like learning. Let's reveal all about it. In a recent publication in Nature, researchers revealed a revolutionary concept called cultural transmission that trains AI models without relying on any kind of existing dataset. This means, unlike traditional methods of machine learning, AI can not only mimic human actions now, but they can also retain and recall behaviors at any given point in time. But how did engineers incorporate cultural transmission to train these models? The thing is, humans are like sponges. They soak up knowledge from others by watching and imitating them. It's kind of like how you learn how to ride a bike by watching an older sibling. And this type of social learning has led to our cultural evolution too. But what if we build on this phenomenon and train the AI to do the same? Can it watch, learn, and mimic behaviors in real time, just like we do? To demonstrate how these AI agents were able to learn human-like behaviors, DeepMind ran a series of experiments in a simulated environment called Goal Cycle 3D. This novel approach used the virtual world with uneven terrain, footpaths, and obstacles to train AI agents without prior human interaction. To put it simply, these AI agents had to navigate their way through the computer-animated playground, and they had to use a concept called reinforcement learning to make that happen. If we go back to Psychology 101, Pavlov was able to condition his subjects by repeatedly introducing a stimulus to establish a behavioral pattern. Similarly, this method was also based on rewards being offered to the AI agent for every behavior that it learned. The AI agents were all given tasks made up of three parts, the world, the game, and the other players. The world includes things like how big and what shape the place is, where objects are placed, and how the land looks. The game sets the rules for how rewards are earned, like in Goal Cycle 3D, where the aim is to order goals correctly. And finally, there are the other players, the co-players, that are the last piece of the puzzle. These players are other programs interacting in the same space, seeing things and making decisions. Each task is a bit like its own problem-solving journey for the AI. It's like a different game, with its own set of rules and environments for the AI to learn from. At the following stage, the team added expert agents, which were either hard-coded or human-controlled, that already knew how to navigate the simulation. The AI agents understood quickly that the best way to reach their destination was to learn from the experts. In their research, the engineers created something called Metal ADR, using reinforcement learning and a few key elements. They tested this on separate tasks to see how well it worked. These elements work together in the agent's brain in different ways and time frames. First, there's a memory module that builds a picture of the task step by step. Then, during training, there's something called attention loss that helps the agent focus on other players but isn't necessarily needed during testing. Also, while the agent is learning, an expert player sometimes joins in and leaves randomly during the task, and the tasks the agent tackles during training keep changing to help it learn better and handle different challenges. These tasks were used separately to check how well the agents trained with reinforcement learning can adapt and solve new problems, and because of the reward system, the results were astonishing. The 3D task space that was used in the study was really detailed, which is great, but it also gives engineers chances to design things in a way that might make our results less general. Few shot imitation learning proves beneficial in a variety of applications. In robotics, it facilitates the rapid training of robots by allowing them to imitate human demonstrations, such as assembling products in a factory. Autonomous vehicles also leverage few shot learning to adapt quickly quickly to new and complex driving scenarios by imitating human driving behavior. Moving forward to healthcare, the approach assists in tasks like medical image analysis or personalized patient care, learning from a small set of labeled data. Natural language processing benefits from few-shot learning to train language models for specific tasks or generate text based on limited examples, enhancing the capabilities of chatbots, for example. 
In addition, in areas like game playing, recommender systems, and anomaly detection, few shot imitation learning enables AI systems to excel with minimal training data, making it a versatile and valuable approach across various domains. Cultural transmission plays an important role in the development of AI by enabling the transfer of knowledge and behaviors from one agent to another, mirroring the way humans learn from each other. But here's how it impacts AI development. Cultural transmission allows AI to acquire and share knowledge efficiently. Just as humans learn from observation and imitation, AI models can grasp new skills and behaviors by observing and imitating expert actions. By imitating and transmitting learned behaviors, AI can generalize its knowledge across diverse scenarios, and this ability to adapt learned skills to new situations enhances the versatility and adaptability of AI systems. Not only that, but cultural transmission methods, such as few-shot learning, diminish the reliance on extensive labeled datasets, which reduces the burden of data collection and annotation, making AI development more efficient. AI models proficient in cultural transmission can apply learned knowledge in real time without the need for continuous retraining. This is particularly beneficial in dynamic settings where quick decision-making is crucial. Cultural transmission also fosters collaboration between AI and humans. AI can learn from human demonstrations or expertise, improving its capabilities and potentially assisting humans more effectively. By learning from a diverse set of behaviors and actions, AI models developed through cultural transmission methods can become more robust and adaptable to various situations, contributing to AI's resilience and and versatility. The AI agents might have yielded excellent results, but there are still some advantages and disadvantages of few-shot imitation learning. The ability of AI to learn and apply knowledge in real time without requiring continuous retraining is crucial for applications where prompt decision-making or quick adaptation are essential, such as robotics or dynamic environments. By reducing the dependency on extensive datasets, AI models employing few-shot imitation might mitigate privacy concerns associated with collecting and storing large amounts of sensitive human data. With the capacity to imitate and transmit learned behaviors, AI could collaborate more seamlessly with humans, learning from human demonstrations and transferring acquired knowledge back to human users. AI systems adept at cultural transmission could potentially reduce the cost and effort involved in training and deploying AI models across diverse tasks, making scalability more feasible. One major drawback of few-shot imitation learning is its struggle with handling tasks that demand a higher level of complexity beyond the provided examples. The models trained through this method might find it challenging to generalize to entirely new or significantly different scenarios, limiting their adaptability. Additionally, the quality and relevance of the few examples provided for learning heavily influence the model's performance, making it highly dependent on the dataset's adequacy. Overfitting risks are also prevalent, as the model might become too specialized on specific instances during training, affecting its performance in diverse scenarios. Not only that, but transferring learned knowledge to unrelated tasks or scaling the approach to more complex scenarios presents challenges itself. Acknowledging these limitations is crucial in understanding the scope and boundaries of few-shot imitation learning, guiding its effective application and potential future enhancements in AI training methodologies. While the engineers behind this AI development can't share the code because it was created in a private setting, they're open to answering specific questions about how to recreate it. You can reach out to reverettadeepmind.com to find out more about the study, but if you're interested in similar algorithms or implementations, there are open source versions, such as the MPO algorithm and the 2D variant of the goal cycle, available on GitHub too. While few shot learning might have broken barriers in AI, there's still a need for further research to develop more versatile artificial general intelligence. DeepMind's breakthrough, though in its early stages, holds considerable promise for the AI industry. It could potentially cut down on the usual resource-heavy training of algorithms while boosting their problem-solving skills. This achievement also sparks curiosity about whether AI could eventually grasp the social and cultural aspects of human thinking. 
However, acknowledging its limitations, there's a huge chance that the AI agents might just misinterpret what they observe, considering there's no pre-existing dataset. When you think about it, there's a bunch of learning that just makes sense. That's why the straightforward training situations highlight the importance of testing the technique in various situations to see how well it works. While the metal ADR method works well in the Goal Cycle 3D task space, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution for everything. The Goal Cycle 3D space is already pretty big and represents tasks where you have to make strategic choices repeatedly, like cooking or navigating. Even though similar methods could do well in tasks that require strategic choices, there are some other factors to be considered. For example, the reinforcement learning method needs experts to show up and leave, tasks to be generated in a specific way, and some other assumptions about the environment. If these things can't happen in a different setting, then this method might not work there. There are also more subtle assumptions, like tasks being relatively easy to start, not needing precise movements, episodes being short, no irreversible mistakes, all goals being visible, and the order of rewards staying the same. If these things aren't true in a different setting, some adjusting to the few-shot imitation model might be needed. Hopefully, future studies will relax these requirements, opening up new challenges for research in this area. But what do you think? Did Google DeepMind exceed expectations by incorporating cultural transmission to master real-time human-like learning? Let us know what you think in the comments section down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates just like this. We'll see you in the next one.